Hi, so we have module four, lesson four. So our learning target for today is I can see a fraction as a division problem. So we're going to start with um, problems number one, A through D. So what we're doing is we're basically just taking a division problem and rewriting it just as a fraction. And then also using the long division algorithm to see how that connects to the answers, okay? So number one on the class kick assignment, it says draw a tape diagram to solve. We're not going to do that on the class kick assignment. Express your answer as a fraction. Show the multiplication sentence to check your answer. We're going to skip that part as well. The first one is done for you. So in the first one, 1a, one it says 1 divided by 3. So this is like one whole cake divided into three friends, okay? So we're thinking about this as if we have one whole cake or one whole candy bar, just like one candy bar divided into three friends, each friend is going to get less than a whole because we only have one whole candy bar. We don't have three whole candy bars. We have one whole candy bar that we're starting with, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the one whole and we're going to take it as our numerator. So we have one and then divided into three. So the division sign is going to be exchanged for the fraction sign because fractions are also divisions. They're pieces of a whole. So we have our division sign rewritten as a fraction sign and then divided into three. So the thirds is the denominator. So one divided by three is also equal to one third or one over three. Just as simple as that, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the standard algorithm of division to plug it into the fraction, okay? So we're going to set it up just how you would set up a long division or just a division standard algorithm. You would draw your division bar, one piece, so one in the inside, divided by th into three parts, so the three on the outside, okay? So now we would do one divided by three. Well, three can't really be multiplied to equal one because it's, it's bigger than one, so we would just put zero up here. So you'd, there would be zero holes. So if we did three zero times, that would still mean we still need to take away zero, okay? So one minus zero equals one still. So we have one remainder. But we're not going to write it as R1 in the answer. We're going to write it as a fraction. Because we can still write it as we have one divided into thirds. So we would write it one over three. Okay, so that remainder goes in the numerator, and then the denominator is what we are dividing by, our divisor. Okay, so that would be our answer, one-third. So now let's try B. So B says 2 divided by 3. So if we were to have two candy bars divided into three friends, how much would each friend get? So let's see. Let's write it as a fraction first. So if we have two candy bars... 2 is the amount of pieces, division sign, fraction sign, 3. So we're dividing it into thirds, into three equal parts. So now, 2 thirds. So that means each friend would get 2 thirds of a candy bar, which is almost a whole because it's almost 3 thirds, but it's not exactly one whole because if we were to have 3 divided by 3, we would have one whole. But we have 2 divided by 3, okay? So now let's connect, um, let's connect the fraction into how it looks like on the long division. So two pieces on the inside of the division bar divided into three parts, divided into three friends on the outside of the division bar. And now let's start dividing. So two divided by three, or let's think of it, how many times can three go into two? Um, what do you think? Not very many too big, so we would put a zero here, because the three is bigger than the two. So now, if we did three zero times, we still took away zero. So now two minus zero equals still two. So two is the remainder, but it's not two holes, it's two of a part. So we would write it as a fraction up here, so two pieces left over of thirds two-thirds. 
So we still have zero holes and two thirds, two thirds, okay? All right, now let's try problem C. So we have seven divided by five. So first let's rewrite as a fraction. So if we were to have seven candy bars divided into five friends, we have more can whole candy bars than we have friends. So I'm thinking this is going to be more than a whole. Each friend will get at least one whole candy bar and then some little bit more. So we would have our seven pieces as our numerator divided by, so as a fraction sign, five friends is the how many equal parts, so fifths. So we have seven fifths. And we know seven fifths is more than one whole because we would need five fifths to equal one whole. And here we have seven fifths. So now let's connect the fraction answer into our long division standard algorithm. So now we have the seven candy bars is what's going to be split apart on the inside of the division bar. The fifths, what we're dividing it into equally on the outside on the division bar. So now let's divide. So seven divided by five. So five can go into seven at least one time. So we would have one right there, one whole. So if we did five one time, we already took out five equal parts. So that means we have left over seven minus five, which gives us two. So now we have two pieces left over, and those two pieces will now be split into fifths. But five is bigger than two, so five cannot be multiplied to equal to or close to two. It's too big. So this is going to be our remainder, put our remainder as a fraction because we can still split it, but it'll be less than a whole. So this is our remainder, so we would have fraction bar, so we have two pieces divided into fifths, so two fifths, one and two fifths. So each friend will get one and two fifths, which is also equal to seven fifths, okay? All right, last problem, D. So now we have 14, divided by five. So 14 candy bars divided into five friends. So I know we have more than five candy bars because 14 is greater than five. So that means each friend will get at least one whole candy bar and then some more. So let's rewrite our division problem as a fraction. So that means 14 candy bars is the amount of pieces. We have 14 pieces, 14 whole pieces divided into five friends. So we're dividing it, fraction bar, into fifths denominator. 14 fifths. Okay, so now let's connect our fraction bar into our division problem. So five can't go into one, so one divided by five is too small. So let's put it together. So now let's do 14. So five can go into 14 two times. So that would be two or zero two. Both of those are correct. So if we did five two times, that means we already shared out 10 pieces. So let's take out 10 pieces. So 14 minus 10, which gives us four left over. So now we would have four pieces to divide into five friends. So since the four is less than the divisor, we're going to leave that as our leftover, as our fraction leftover. So now we have four pieces divided into fifths. So two and four fifths. Okay, and that's it for today. Awesome job. Make sure you do your Zern time and make sure you put in all of your answers. And then, oh, I'm so proud of you.